Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial on um, methods of obtaining requirements from stakeholders. So we revisit the syllabus statement. This is 1.2.5, describe methods of obtaining requirements from stakeholders. As we um, look back to 1.2.4, which are stakeholders, we can um, link this to IGCSE Business if any one of you does it. and the methods of primary research, also known as field research. It involves collection and uh, collation of original data through direct contact with potential or existing customers, and this is taken from Dinesh Bakshi. Um, <coughs> sorry, um, what are stakeholders? They are a person, a group, or organization that has interest or concern in an organization. The first type um, of method that can <coughs> sorry the first type of method that can be used for obtaining requirements from stakeholders are observation and it's the process of monitoring a system while it is at work some advantages include um, users can impart their experience from system directly uh, data gathered can be highly reliable and they're not based on numerical stats so they can explore topics in detail and depth so there's no like fixed number for or numerical stats so it's not like if it's higher than 10 it's good or lower than 5 it's bad disadvantages include functioning system that is observed will act differently than normally does so when you think of some teachers when they're being observed for some lessons um, some of the times they act differently and these are the disadvantages and um, these are non-statistical data therefore they're difficult to analyze as it may be too general although they can explore topics in detail detail and depth um, Second one is um, focus groups and is a form of qualitative research. We have to distinguish between qualitative and quantitative, in which a group of people are asked about their perceptions, opinions, beliefs, and attitude toward a product, service, concept, advertisement, idea, or packaging. So advantages include um, the ability for the researcher to ask follow-up questions. Uh, results can be easier to understand and information is provided much more quickly. However, the sample size may not be a good representation of the larger population. Therefore, it needs to be a random sample of, uh, <coughs> uh, and it may not, um, let's say for example, 10 people are chosen out of the 100, and these 10 people, they might have the same background or the same origin therefore their answers might be similar or they might be pressured into answering them instead of like one from uh, spread it out or random from that particular sample size um disadvantages also include group discussions can be difficult to control therefore it might go out of topic um, surveys a third kind it's easy to administer it can be developed in less time so large um, per number of participants like it can be um, administered online however it could be biased and some of the times questions may be uncertain or it's not just like a multiple choice there might be some exceptions that you can't express because due to like and I'm um, ticking the boxes and lastly there's interviews and it is a face-to-face -face meeting that consists of an interviewer asking the interviewee questions that should be uh, pertinent to the topic of the interview so um, advantages include direct feedback you can discuss a topic in depth and <coughs> you can actually see um, their facial reactions face to face however it may be costly um, or long time may be required to interview each and every single one of the interviewees How, and also their answers may not be truthful if they are pressured to answer thank you for watching and hopefully this has helped you